hey guys welcome back to my channel now i know that i've been away for a while i know that there's no makeup on my face even though my username is masako makeup we will not be putting makeup on my face and like my answer to both of those statements is that i have been away on a very long trip okay it was like one week and that doesn't explain why i haven't been posting for like three months but i've been away i've been working really hard so i could save money and have fun on this trip so i haven't had time to edit film any of that stuff and i just came back like a few days and my jet lag has been the worst like i've literally been sleeping all day and staying up all night it's so just it's it's bad it's really awful and i'm really tired i honestly do not have the energy to make up on my face i have lip gloss on if you can't tell so if that's not good enough i'm sorry i apologize for failing you i promise this is not going to be a current thing or a consistent thing maybe for like a few videos it'll be like that because i might film more videos today but i have to go to work tonight and i figured i should put some effort in especially since my face is not loving me right now but i do have something fun today to film and show you guys and it's this what is this it's a birch box and it's not just any old birch box that you just subscribe for and receive that was that was really eloquent but um while i was in london there was a little birch box store i'm like what the hell is a birch box store like isn't that like a subscription box why is there a store and when me and nikki went in come to find out you can personalize your own birch box which is pretty amazing in here i have my own little personalized birch box of items that i actually want not like ipsy and how they always send me coal liners and i say stop sending me coal liners and then what do they send me coal liners but that's besides the point um if i keep looking up in the video it's because i'm not using my camera or i probably am always looking to the side because i'm really bad at looking straight into the lens i am only an amateur youtuber you can only expect so much from me but yeah so this i'm not gonna lie i can't remember how much it was i believe this was 15 pounds which means it's probably close to like 20 us dollars i don't know if that's correct i have like no idea the exact conversion rate of pounds to usd i just know that it's not in the favor of the americans so much um i'm also really stupid i was excited and i did show some footage of the birch box store however i did not film the process of me making it so i will insert some clips now of the store so i'm in a pop-up birch box store so like basically i can like make my own custom birch box which is like pretty cool because it's like i've always been on the fence about buying one because i never know what the product's gonna be and i don't know if i trust it or not but i can literally build my own for 15 pounds that's kind of like wild so i'm gonna make one now and it's gonna be awesome and maybe i'll do a unboxing when i get back but this is so neat however i did not film the process of me actually putting it together so we're just gonna unbox this and I know I chose this. I know I know I should know exactly what's in here. However, it's been a while since I made this and I don't remember what it was or what was in it. Let me just break down what the store is like so first. So pretty much in the section where you can make your own box, there's like this like item menu of all the stuff you can choose from. And like there's certain sections of like you get one from each section and then each section it tells you the product, what the product's used for and like the purpose of it and blah, blah, blah. And you get to pick one item from each section and put it in your box and there was like five sections there was also things like around the store that you could just like buy a la carte i guess i guess we're talking about this like it's a restaurant but you could buy it like separately so there was like different makeup products like sample sizes of makeup and there was like those like like these full like brush sets and like everything like it was like a lot you can go to sephora for like makeup but this is like an ex like i think it's like cool that you can like curate your own box and like look at this this box is like my aesthetic like i love marble i love this like kind of blue color and it's like so cute and like i really don't want to unwrap this like she tied this bow so beautifully it's gonna pay me to actually unwrap it which is probably why i'm rambling so much let's just like get into this and i'm gonna try to take this off as preciously as i can because i don't want to ruin this bow so here is my box don't fall out um let's just start with this this is sticking to everything but this is a beauty sponge from spectrum cosmetics unicorn tears i don't actually know what this is if the brand is called spectrum unicorn tears but this is like what it is i don't know if it'll there we go focus 
it says spectrum unicorn tears and this is like what it looks like so like i didn't even know this i just wanted to make this box but like when i was checking out i was just like lo like looking at this like oh look at that beauty sponge and i guess i was staring pretty hard at it because the lady was like oh yeah you get that for free and i was like okay i can always use extra beauty sponges and i actually didn't even like test that much into it so let's see now like what it's like so this feels like a beauty blender when you don't dampen it up hold on one second let's just let's just do a little test real quick okay i don't know if you guys can tell but it actually is like a lot fatter compared to how it was dry um it's not as like soft like i feel like when you wet a beauty blender it's like super soft all the way but there's like some like push when i squeeze like towards the middle like it's still kind of firm in the center i don't know if that means it's gonna be better for applying full coverage not concealers foundations because it's like a little bit firm but it's also like soft but it's like that's a noise. I don't think I've ever heard a beauty blender make that noise before. But it's like really like the area of like the bottom is like really big, so it's really good to like. Oh yeah, I can hear it like squishy. I'm gonna get all the water out. I don't know if I need to like wet this more or what, but I feel like this bottom is like really good for getting like large surfaces on my face, like my cheeks. But yeah, I guess I can try this tonight. It's like really throwing me off how firm it is in the center. But you know what? Even if it's bad, I got it for free, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the sponge. Um, I'm actually going to dive into the stuff that's on the bottom so I can possibly find my little menu thing and explain what all the products I got were. I basically bought these two. Oh, there's like crap on it. I don't know what this is. I hope nothing in my box leaks. That would be unfortunate. But I basically just... <coughs> I bought these nose pore strips. I believe the brand is called Skin 79. And it's the Clean On 2-Step Nose Pack. And it just looks like this. There's like a little porcupine on it, which is pretty cute, so I think that's the brand name. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just like a cleansing and an extraction. I don't know. It's in Korean, but there's instructions in the back. However, I'm not going to read those instructions right now, but you get the point. Okay, now let's pull up my little menu thing and try to do this in order. So basically, yeah, you got a little menu when you first started that looks like this. And then when you open it... It has, this is a lot to look at. I know you guys can't read this, but it's like all the different sections and all the different products that you can possibly get. I'm gonna be very thorough in this video and go through everything with you guys. The first section is a repetitive section, but the first one is makeup. And I had three choices of what I could choose. I could choose the Model Co. Mega Lash Mascara, which it says it gives lashes the lips and volume they deserve in this inky black plumping formula. And they just tell you how to use it. And then there was the Spectrum Cosmetics Angled Blender Brush. And then the last one was the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It just says that this is the best-selling bron bronzing powder that delivers a shimmer-free sun-kissed glow to the skin. Now, I technically have my own Hula Bronzer in, like, this big Chica Thon Parade pack. And you know what? I always love free brushes. So I grabbed the free brush from Spectrum. I guess this is a brand that I just didn't know about. My trash can is over here. We're just going to throw this here. I'm not usually one to gravitate towards angled brushes, however, I have been straying away from mascara and using more of fake eyelashes as much as I can, and like I said, I already have the Hula Bronzer, so free brushes are always cool. I always need more eye brushes, so this seems like the obvious choice. It's soft. I don't know what to say more about a brush. It actually reminds me a lot of the Morphe Rose Gold Collection, and yeah, it's really nice. I'm really happy that I have more stuff to blend out my eyes with because I like am really lazy and I don't like to wash my brushes So now I have more brushes to prolong that washing process. I know I'm gross. Leave me alone My second section is also makeup So there was the what is it called? It's like lock Makeup, I don't I know like it stands for something. I can't think of what it stands for But it's like lock like LLC vibrant matte lipstick and color me confident and it says it is a, it says it might be shine free, but this high pigment lipstick stays soft and buttery smooth all day. And it says apply to dry moisturized lips, then blot. Then the second option was the Mana Cardar. I don't know if I just messed that up, pronunciation up, but whatever. Um, Fantasy 3 in 1 eyeshadow. It says it's a pearlescent pink powder that works as a highlighter, eyeshadow, and cheek color. However, in that pop-up store, they ran out of that. But when I asked to like see it, I honestly... 
I mean, maybe it was different because of the shade that was available. But I asked to like see it and I have like that eyeshadow already because Ipsy sends me so much. I know Ipsy's not watching this video, but Ipsy, you can stop sending me this like eyeshadow. You can stop sending me cool eyeliners, but that's besides the point. Different subscription box. And then finally, there was the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, which is a pen style applicator that glides on to allow you to vary the thickness of your feline flick. I think I chose that. Well, I mean, I think I know I chose that. Um, I've heard a lot of things about this. That's why I've always wanted to try it. I've just never like jumped the gun, bit the bullet, and like actually got got it. This is like a partial like Birchbox unboxing slash Ipsy rant. But like, anyways, there's so many times where Ipsy was about to send me this, but they sent me coal liner instead, and it's like I literally don't use coal eyeliner. I use felt tip eyeliners. I was like, you know what? This is my subs subscription box. I'm gonna choose a felt tip eyeliner for myself for once. So I did, and I'm excited to try this because I've heard about it for so long, and yeah, I'm excited for it. But the lipstick was a Birchbox exclusive, so maybe I should have tried it. Oh well, too late now. So the next section is skincare and body, and the first option was the Polar. It's like Polar, but with two A's, so I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. The Ice Pure Gentle Scrub with Art. Arctic cotton. Why can't I read? Oh my god. What it is is that it's smooth and softens skin with this double action exfoliator, great for even and sensitive skin types. The Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. It says, set Oh my god, say hello to healthy, even skin. This oil free serum hydrates and fades dark spots. And the last one was the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. Too many late nights. This three in one formula softens, smooths, and brightens tired eyes. I'm pretty sure I picked that. Yep, the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. Oh my god, focus. Focus. Um, like I said, I have like a really messed up sleep schedule even before this whole jet lag thing happened. But because of that, I do get some pretty like nasty dark circles. So that is what I consider a skincare concern for me. So I'm always like down to try eye creams that like are supposedly, supposedly supposed to help brighten dark circles. So hopefully this works. I'm hoping it does, but I mean, whatever. And then the second section was also skincare and body. Now my choices were the Rituals, the Ritual of Sakura Foam, Foaming Shower Gel. This rice milk and cherry blossom formula transforms into from silky, silky, from silky gel to luxurious foam on contact with water. I, I can read. I promise that I'm not illiterate. The second option was the Nukes Nux. Oh my god, I can't pronounce this. It's a uh, hand and nail cream. I'll try to remember to just put it down here when I'm editing because I cannot pronounce this. I don't know if I can even get... There's like a little thing. It's just, it's, a, it's fancy, okay? It's foreign. And what it is... So it's basically a hand and nail cream and it says a decadent blend of honey, precious oils, and vitamin E tackles dryness in a flash. And the final one was Vita Coco Coconut Oil. And it's the ultimate beauty multi multitasker. This organic coconut oil can be used on the face, body, and hair. Hand and nail cream. I know I should, but I don't. I barely am good at, at keeping care, keeping care, taking care of my face, as far as skincare goes. So I like certainly just kind of neglect this, especially since I can't even like technically have long nails or painted nails for my job. I have to take these off soon, but I didn't want that for that reason. Honestly, I don't know why I chose what I did because I actually chose the Rituals Ritual of Sakura like foaming What is this foaming gel cream thing? I don't really know. I think I was torn between the Vita Coco and the Rituals product because I just didn't want the third one and I'm, I'm just not good at skincare. I don't know I didn't know what to get but I figured I don't know. I don't like the smell of coconuts. I don't like coconuts Rating it now. Maybe I should have gotten it what does this do? Let me see if it says on one. Oh, that's a lot of words. To be completely honest, I feel like I chose this because this was like the most Asian sounding one. So I was like, yeah, it's Asian. I'm Asian. It's like, where can I go wrong? So that's what I chose. And then for the final product, oh my god, I'm so stumped on this one because I just... Let me just say that the last category was hair. It's not that I don't care about my hair. I feel like my hair is my most important, like... I treasure my hair. I like... I feel like it's my favorite feature of like me. My hair is like, I don't know, it's been pretty like tame. It hasn't given me problems, that many problems in my life except for when my bangs wanna be unruly. There was the Lucetta Keratin Smooth Cre Cream Conditioner. Oh my God. And it reduces breakage and restructures damaged hair with the sulfate free treatment. You just smooth it through. 
smooth through mid lengths of your hair leave for two minutes and rinse i guess i'm gonna read how you use it even though i haven't been doing that and then there was the mika bombshell blowout spray which it says master the ultimate blow dry with this volumizing spray it's bonus it protects against heat too and then there was the number four fluoro five i'm really good at this um elixir restore and repair oil and it says transform dull hair into silky soft shiny strands without weighing it down and then you just smooth one to two pumps through damp hair and style as normal this one was like the last section where none of the products necessarily stood out to me i just picked one through process of elimination because like i said i just i don't do a lot to this i condition it i brush it on a little fancy day i'll flat iron it but i don't the thing is that when i take a shower i don't blow dry my hair i like literally let this air dry so it didn't make sense for me to do the like blowout spray oh wait that's a lie that's what i picked <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So okay, I guess I picked. I don't know how I decided to pick this then, but um, why did I choose these other ones? And so I guess I just chose this as like a heat protectant for when I flat iron my hair. And I guess the logic of this is that if I don't like versus the conditioner where I'm gonna use like a, a ton of it and run out super fast, I don't use heat products, heat products, heat tools, hot to hot tools. That's the word. I don't use hot tools a lot of my hair. So this is actually gonna like take me a longer way. I don't know, it's gonna help me master the ultimate blow dry with this volumizing spritz. So there you go. Anyways, that was my personalized BoxyCharm pop-up store unboxing <laughs> video. I don't know what I'm actually gonna name this video, but yeah, it was a really cool concept. I'm really glad that I happened to run into that store and like find it and experience it because that was actually really fun to be able to make your own box because you know like I mean, like, it's fun to, like, receive Ipsy bags and, you know, oh, when am I gonna get this month? But it's also frustrating, you know, when you keep getting cold eyeliners and single eyeshadows that are all the same color every single month. So it was just nice to actually personalize my own box. It was a fun experience. I wish I would have recorded it for you guys to see it with me. I don't know if Birchbox is gonna expand this idea or not, but if you guys ever, like, run into one, 10 out of 10 would suggest. It's really fun. It was relatively cheap in pounds i mean even in do us dollars i think it's fun and you get to check out like you know cool products that you can just buy like separately from everything else don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have it already i'm going to be putting out a few more london themed videos and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye